Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Perry. Now is the show with the things happening in the world right now. First up, today I want to wish all my American fans a happy July 4th. May the day be full of fun and happiness, and please try not to blow your face off with fireworks. One possible way to avoid blasting your face off with fireworks is to eat this giant hamburger. This so-called beast burger contains a whopping 6,806 calories. That's close to three times your daily recommended calorie intake. So let me be the first to warn you, you're gonna get fat eating this. It's the simple truth, people. So if you're looking for the ultimate burger this July 4th, then there you go. Mind you, it's nothing compared to the stuff the epic mealtime people eat. But maybe you're not a hamburger type person. Then what about a hot dog eating contest? The mayor of New York City Michael Bloomberg kicked off a fun hot dog eating contest in Central Park today, but things didn't go as smoothly as he would have hoped. This is possibly the best example why you should write your own public speeches, or at least pre-read them before saying them. This speech is full of so many bad puns. Check it out. In this city is top dog chow hound. Let me be perfectly frank. I relish it. Or if one of their dogged will finally catch up and be pronounced wiener. No question, it's going to be a dog fight. <laughs> who wrote this shit? <laughs> well, Mr. Bloomberg, it doesn't matter who wrote it, because you said it. Moving from July 4th fun to the world of particle physics. There was really no easy way to transition between the two of those. Last night, the physicists over at CERN announced that they have finally found the God particle. That's right, using the LHC or the Large Hadron Collider, Physicists were able to pinpoint the existence of the Higgs boson particle. The reason for calling this particle the God particle is because it's capable of giving mass to other elementary particles such as quarks or electrons. This particle was calculated to exist for some time, but no real proof of its existence was available till very recently. So what does this mean for the average person? Well, I'm not sure. Personally, I'm not changing the way I run my life because of it, but I'm both happy and amazed by the continued progress of scientists and physicists throughout the world. Without these people, the world would not be what it is today. And for that, I am happy. Science rules! And from fast-moving tiny particles to fast-moving tennis balls. This Monday, a line judge at a tennis match in Wimbledon got a little too close for comfort as she was struck in the eye by a 118 mile per hour serve. That's right, the lady was struck in the eye with a 118 mile per hour or 189.9 kilometer per hour Sir, whoa, that's like, that's like twice as fast as like, I'm technically allowed to legally drive in Canada. Or if you really want to think about it, some high speed trains travel around 200 kilometers an hour. So yeah. Yep, that's right. The line judge basically got hit in the eye with a tennis ball traveling at the same speed as a passenger train. Oh, that would not be fun. But wait, it gets better. Not for her, but for you, the viewer at home, because well, it was all caught on live TV. Okay, so here's the serve. Wait for it, wait for it. BAM! Right in the face! Oh my god! That's my first! That, that's her response if you, if, you, if you can figure it out. Anyway, so then the guy's nice enough, he goes over, you know, he consoles her, and she's just like, she's like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be okay, I got this, I got this! And then obviously her boss comes over because, you know, she got hit in the face with a tennis ball, so that's not fun. Mind you, if we rewind this again and you actually take a look at it here, after the serve, she actually gets hit in the eye and then puts her hand out to call the actual shot. So even though she was hit in the eye, she just still calls the shot, which is like amazing. Can, can we rewind that again? Let's let's rewind that. And slow-mo, can we slow-mo here? Wait for it, here comes the serve, here comes the serve, and on oh, my face! Again, that is her response. So there you go, when two guys are playing with balls, watch out because you might get one in the eye. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and from balls to the eye. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's, that's, that's kind of funny. I'm a horrible person. Anyway, if you still have both your eyes, <laughs> still a horrible person I am. Okay, if you're looking for something amazing to look at, then check out these amazing photographs captured in Dubai. They're all taken by a photographer crazy enough to stand on top of the tallest buildings 
without a harness, as you can see in this picture. Yep, that's right. As you can see in this photo, he's just standing up there with no tether at all. The only thing that I can really think is that this guy's really crazy, but he's also crazy good because look at these awesome photographs. This one especially makes Dubai look like a city of the future. It's all like sci-fi movie like. It looks so cool. So with today being July 4th and Independence Day for my American friends, what do you plan on doing today? Tell me in the comments section below or you can let me know on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links to all that and more in the description below. And when you're done commenting, why not click the subscribe button above so that all the newest episodes of Now get sent straight to you. Then click the like button because you like this video, you like the content in it, or you liked me, one of the three. Oh, that actually worked. Haha, <laughs> I'm good at math. I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.